What's up? This is Daisy De La Hoya and Mr. Ricky Rackman, and you are watching No Good Motherfucking TV. Ow! Yeah. <coughs> We're kin. <laughs> We're like family. Yes. <laughs> Can tell. That's my long, my long lost sister. We're like twins. We were just separated at boob. Exactly. <laughs> this is the intro to the show. Yes. It's Ricky Rackman. <laughs> Wait, and Daisy De La Hoya. And what you know what? Oh, uh, and, and Karen Keegan. Keegan. That's me. Yeah. And you know what? Um, thank God for all of you lucky people. Daisy didn't find love, so she's looking for it now on Daisy of Love on VH1. How fucking cool is that? I want a boyfriend. What's been going on? What happened? You have 20 guys now, like dying to get your love. Bro, I broke my heart and made me cry a lot. Son of a uh, bitch. VH1 came to me, 51 Minds, and they said that they wanted to do a show with me where 20 guys compete for my attention and fight over me and cry over me. <laughs> the beauty of this show is that the boys, finally, finally it's the boys' turn to look like complete exactly. douchebags on TV. Exactly. Take the f with you. Let's come back. Come on, baby. Yo, hit me, you little bitch. You can get the f out right now. They not only lied to Daisy, you lied to me right in front of my face. I am here for love. Damn it. I am not Big John. No. I am not Sister Patterson. No. I'm not any of the, I mean, yes, I have sort of fallen into the role of almost a sidekick, no. which I'm not altogether comfortable with because I'm such a freaking egomaniac. <laughs> but the thing is, um, I'm Daisy's friend, right. and if the guys want to get to Daisy, they're going to go through me. I'm going to give Daisy my advice, he's your yeah. and usually he, she's not going to listen. He is my cock and he, he did cock a lot. Friggin' Ricky Rackman comes out, man, and it was like a total boner kill. It was like, ugh. Hey, Ricky, boner kill, right, man? <laughs> I was like, well, that's okay. I don't really want to be the guy that, like, gives guys boners, so if I'm boner kill, <laughs> that's really not so bad, come to think of it. I mean, if I was like, never mind. Um, oh, I forgot it's scary stuff. I was like the nickname, like, you know, the guy that Boner gets girls Laker. moist. You know, that's a better nickname than Boner <laughs> Kill. Ricky Wetman. 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 <laughs> get, you know, I'd rather the girls get around. I don't want guys. I'm glad that when guys see me, they're not turned on. So is the real difference between this show and all of the other dating shows that there's more full frontal on this one than any other VH1 show? There's times when I make the guys get naked. Woo! <laughs> and thank you on behalf of all exactly. the women out no, there. I just no. felt like, you know, there was, there was times when I was like, hey, all of you take your clothes off and get in the pool, because... <laughs> because I want you to, and it's my fucking exactly, show. Because it's your turn now. You know, I didn't yeah, know there were so many instances that the guys ran around in their underwear until I saw clips of the show. I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm glad yeah, I didn't see it. Okay, for me, it was, okay? Um, we um, all know you're it. straight and all, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with a naked man. Exactly. I saw more man ass on that show than I ever want to see again. <laughs> First week, here's Flipper showing his man know, ass. I'm like, is, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like looking at guys' dicks. That's, that's, maybe that's, oh, that's me. Apparently so. I don't, I don't. Daisy and I, on the other hand, I have no issues with it. Right, I think, you know, balls and cocks and penises, they're very lovely, very lovely items, and I, I can appreciate that. Do you prefer them, um, do, do they need to be they trimmed, be naked. waxed, naked? naked? Yeah, I prefer, I prefer a clean area, a clean canvas to work with. I am a sucker, and I would rather have my guy be, you know, very well groomed because, like I said, it makes my job easier and I don't want to have to stop every five minutes to, you know, floss. A back gina. A back gina. It's a girl that has a patch of hair on her back just above her a ass. A back gina. I've never heard that. Ever. Ricky, have you encountered the back gina? A back gina. No, and that would bum me out. There's certain I, things that's that, 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 that... Oh, because it's like your crack is like right... Wait, who is it that experienced that? Chocolate Thunder, was it your friend or you? Your friend? Guess what? Your friend was with a man. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. God, don't you hate it when you're with a girl and like right where her pussy is, there's this big cock and ball? <laughs> I hate I that, hate man. When that, happens. that brings us to the she male dilemma. The she male dilemma is this <clears throat> you meet a girl, super fucking hot, in a club. She's like, I need you to fuck me now. Go to the bathroom. You get to the bathroom. She's like, just do me in the ass. You start fucking her in the ass. Right as you're about to come. Her balls fall Okay, out. I just want to say, like, I've known some guys who made these <laughs> comments, you know, and it's like, how can you not know? You just escorted a man 
to the bathroom and now you're fucking the man in the ass because that's where men like like I don't understand that situation. Her like, friend had sex his friend had sex with a girl with a hairy back, okay? So well, obviously things Sometimes will, when you're in the heat of the moment or you just don't ask questions. Which leads to the question, if you're getting blown by a really hot she male, are you gay? No. Okay. What if right before they start says you know something. <laughs> Before we start. One blowjob does not make you gay. I don't know. <laughs> Receiving or giving? <laughs> All the dudes just Let me tell you something. Let me just tell you something. Hold on, here's the rule, okay? Here's the rule, people, okay? If you if you eat steak, you're no longer a vegetarian, okay? Hey, not if you true. try when if I you eat, try a piece of meat true. once. I if you try if you try a piece of meat. Mean. If you try a piece of meat once, so okay? If you suck dick and you don't enjoy it, you're not gay. That's not That's true. That's the rule. Oh, I suck dick every single day and I don't enjoy it. Well, I'm not gay. You suck a dick once. You have a cock in your mouth, you're gay. I was really drunk. I don't remember it. You're gay, okay? You tried it. I don't like it. I'll never do it again. You're gay, okay? Is there anything wrong with being gay? No, if you're gay, that's totally cool. Suck all the if you, you want. And, but if you have had a male organ in your mouth, you are gay. I'm, I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm so gay. It's not even funny. Can you be a born-again straight? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's. I think that should should be able to be allowed. I go back to rule one. <laughs> These are prison rules. Okay. Prison rules are different. Is he cute? <laughs> and how long was the term? Okay, well, because then you're gay in prison. Oh, right. Now prison yes. isn't world, okay? okay. We have okay. a different code in prison. You just that said that one cock in your mouth makes you gay, but now you're in prison all of a sudden prison it's okay. Let me tell you something, okay? I needed smokes, all right? What about the complimentary reach around? Do we have any thoughts about that? We'll just throw that out there, and why that's what, not? If a guy starts grabbing your dick? If he's fucking you in the ass, he better be reaching around, no? Okay, if it gets to that, uh, no. your question is the question, is he gay? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> Why is he fucking you in the ass, though, huh? at this point? He needed some smokes. Okay. <laughs> well, he could be fucking you as well. Complimentary reach around or no? Okay. Well, well no, he can't be, you can't reach around there. Never mind. Yeah, no, he should he be giving you the reach around. He can reach around me all he wants. He could do whatever he wants to me. That's why we love Daisy. <laughs> and with that, kids, <laughs> make sure you find Daisy in love. Daisy in love on each one. <laughs> um, don't forget to watch my fucking awesome new fucking TV show, Daisy A Motherfucking Love, on VH1, 98 Central, every fucking Sunday, with, with my, my friend, Ricky fucking Rackman. <laughs>Well, when I leave here, I'm going on a tri-state killing spree, and then I'll probably be at the Waffle House. Watch Daisy of Love. Of People are, are going to be really surprised because it's not just like those other bullshit shows, okay? True, it's a bullshit show, but it's really good. There's some real stuff going on. Daisy is awesome. I wouldn't say that if I didn't feel that way. The guys are mostly assholes, but some of them are really cool. Some of them have become friends of mine. I maybe even found love on that show. Who knows? But Daisy of Love, seriously, the watch the show. I think people are going to be surprised. If I didn't like the show, I wouldn't say this. I like Daisy of Love. It's a good fucking show. <laughs>